Hi there, welcome to our next episode of the Capture Guru. Today we're going to be having a look at time-lapse photography and I'm also going to be having a chat to Sebastian Voch. Uh, Seb is from Glow Hire and they have managed to um, open up in Johannesburg and Cape Town. He's going to be telling us a little bit about what, what's going on in that. So Seb, how's Glow going and how are you managing to get going down here in Cape Town? Thank you, Malcolm. It's very nice to be here on Capture Guru um, and to continue our proud association with your brand. Um, things are going very well. We are making inroads into the various sectors of the market that we've targeted. We now are happy to announce that we have the biggest and most comprehensive holding of phase one equipment on the entire continent. Um, so we are gearing up for the oncoming season. We're hoping to um, net a lot of commercial and advertising work in the months to come. And tell me, what, what, what was the idea to go with phase one? Why, why that particular choice? You know, going back to my days as an operator, I always found it to be the most stable and the most professional. I spent a lot of years working for some fairly high profile um, photographers and nine out of ten of them always chose phase one or capture one oh, really? product. So it was an easy um, conversion or you know an easy decision to make because it's such a stable platform and you know as I don't need to tell you in the, the highly pressurized environment that we work in you know the last thing you want to worry about is you know software and camera glitches. Yeah. No, look, I've always worked with phase one and found it to be incredibly reliable. But I think an interesting thing as well is that you guys have got the latest stuff as well. You've got the 350s and you've yes. got the XF bodies. And yeah, we're very excited. We have um, two IQ 350s with the new XF body. We also have a couple of IQ 250s um, and we are upgrading a bunch of our lenses to the blue line. Those should be arriving any day soon. Incredible. I must say that. The, the, getting that flash speed and all that, the sync speed on those lenses is just incredible. And talking about flash, you don't only do cameras, you obviously have uh, flash we, gear as well. Yes, we, um, we cater to um, photographers and filmmakers. We have a comprehensive holding of um, motion picture equipment um, in addition to, you know, a massive holding of grip equipment and pro photo and brown color flash equipment and you know, we have most of the most modern shapers and tools that are available. Awesome. Well, I'm, I must say I'm really enjoying working with you guys and hiring gear. It's always been super well organized and super efficient. So thanks for coming in and having a chat. Yes, Malcolm, good luck. And thank you for your um, invitation for our participation in this project and uh, your continued support of our brand. Awesome. Thanks, Thank guys. you. So yeah, I'm standing here with the um, IQ 180 that we're using. It's got a 55mm lens on the Phase 1 DF body. The great thing about the DF body is it's got a built-in uh, intervalometer, uh, which we can use to time our sequences and the amount of time that we, we want to do. What we've done today is we've, we've shot a number of different areas. We were hoping to get a quite a cloudy day, but Cape Town's such a beautiful place and we've got such beautiful weather here that we've got a completely clear day with no clouds. Um, so what, we got, what we're going to do is rather focus in on the city where we've got the movement of the cars. Um, so we've got one scene where we've got um, diggers moving and cars in the background. Then what we're going to do is we're going to take this um, information back. The beauty of shooting with the IQ 180 is that we've got so much resolution and when Sean, our editor, gets hold of um, and what we'll do is do a bit of a, an episode on editing these time lapses and we'll sit with Sean and chat to him about how he does the edit. But he can go close in on these, he can pull right out. There's so much resolution that we've got with this 80 megapixel back that there's a lot of interesting things we can do in the edit with the time lapse.
guys thanks very much for watching our episode remember to subscribe to be able to take part in our amazing competitions that we're running as well please share and like our videos